Travel and tour. A and A 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 travel and tour. To officially inform you about the intention of the family to work closely with the Ministry of Youth and Sports, the Football Association, and the government led by your good self to give our brother a befitting burial. Christian Achu was a very, very dedicated footballer who had 66 caps for the Black Stars. The height of his career was in the year 2015 when he scored the best goal of the tournament at the AFCON. He was also selected as a member of the team of the tournament. And most importantly, he was voted the best player of the tournament in the year 2015. Christian Achu served the Black Stars with all his heart. He served mm -hmm. all national teams as and when he was called upon. And until his demise, he was still a member of our team, so long as the team selectors picked him. Beyond the field of play, Your Excellency, he was a philanthropist. His deeds and works are all over the place. And I think the world has spoken to all the good deeds that Christian Achu Trasam did to mankind. Your Excellency, the family is humbled to have been received by your good self, and we are ready to work closely with your good self to find a befitting resting place for our dear brother. Thank you very much. President of the FA, the sister of Christiana Atu and members of the delegation, I first of all to welcome you to Jubilee House, the seat of the presidency of our country. There are times when it is not pleasant to be in this chair. Today is one of them. The young man that we're all mourning was an exceptional athlete, a gift to our nation. All those of us who are football fanatics, and I count myself as one, spend a lot of time admiring him and his exploits on the field. The news that came from Turkey as a result of this tragedy that occurred there was also a very tortuous experience for us because initially we were made to understand that he was all right and then came the concluding defining news that indeed he had been called by the Almighty. It's a tragedy for his family, it's a tragedy for his community, and it's a tragedy for our country. I want to express to you, representatives of his family, and of the sporting, the football fraternity of Ghana, my deep condolence and sympathies for what has happened. And I speak not just for myself, but then for the entire 31 million people of our country.
Fortunately for us, we have in Turkey a very dedicated and dynamic woman who's our ambassador, who spared no effort to make sure that not only was he located, but that decent arrangements were made for his repatriation to us here in Ghana. I thank God for that. Just as I thank God also for the cooperation of the Turkish authorities, who have proved that a friend in need is indeed a friend indeed. I've had the privilege of talking to the Turkish president, Erdogan, to express our collective thanks to Turkey and to his government for the assistance that they gave, not just in locating our compatriot, but also facilitating his return back home. There are people here whose sense of grief is bound to be even more acute than others. And I speak particularly about his twin sister, and the brothers. And I know this must be a very difficult moment for you. But I think our responsibility is to give you as much support as we can. It can never erase the loss of this very brilliant man. But there it is. I always console myself with the thought that at the end of the day, no matter the circumstances, the Almighty will call each one of us one by one. And perhaps that was his destiny, that he be called in this tragic way. It is important that uh, the Ghanaian people express their appreciation for his work that he did for our nation and the contribution he made to the development of the game, which is our national pastime, soccer, and to the development of sports in general. So I've asked the Chief of Staff, who unfortunately is outside a crowd today, to make sure that we organize a state assisted funeral for Christian Atsu, depending on the date that you, the members of the family and the GFA, will select. and that everything will be done from the part of you, the point of view of government to make sure that he's given a dignified exit. I think it's my duty and my responsibility as president to make sure that that happens. I don't know what your plans are, but I would think that the sooner we can get this unfortunate episode behind us, the better for all of us as a nation, as a community, as a family, as a sporting fraternity, and not to have it linger for too long. But as I say, the decision as to when the funeral will take place is that of the family. That is a tradition in Ghana that we all of us, we know, that when it comes to matters of death and burial, is a family that decides. But whatever the decision, whatever date that you choose, you should know that the government will stand squarely behind you. And you have my deep sympathies about what has happened. It's a tragedy that this young man who did so much for our country, not just on the field of 
sports. I've heard about all the philanthropic work that he did should end his life in this tragic manner. But the ways of the Lord are not the ways of man. So we cannot understand what he understands. All that we can do is to do our best to go through the experience.